Hello everyone, this is Jason Fisher with Fisher Gaming again, and uh, I decided to start this episode by showing off this new ship that we have. This is, it's just labeled uh, T6 Bird of Prey, short and, short and sweet, and uh, this was a prize that is unique to the Klingon recruit event and this is one example of why it's a good idea to start a new character or better yet start your first character during a recruitment event if you go um, we'll go to our transmitter for the event and come down to here this is I killed one of the wanted people and that's where I got the ship. And uh, how I how I set this up, I went back to Mars Bringer of War, which is one of the very last episode, actually the second to the last episode of the Federate War with the Federation. And that is where these came from. I played it a second time and got another one. And got them updated as far as I could. And I also updated my Harpang to give it some more power. And on this ship, I'm including the Scorpion fighters. These are the fighters that we got from uh, the vault. The one that I labeled Little Spy. And, uh, of course, this is the Voice of the Prophets. This is the experimental, the experimental weapon that... I took off of the Bajoran Interceptor and I just thought it would be a great idea to start off with me showing off this new ship and uh, and I've already played a little bit got a little bit of experience on it just kind of trying it out so uh, with that said let's go ahead and get to work on this and get on with the show And uh, we're continuing on here. Frozen. A tricky political situation must be resolved in, in, with quick thinking and a deal that could backfire. We know from the information you recovered from the Bahar system that the Tal Shah are planning to attack a Riemann settlement in the Dera system. We have an opportunity to reach the settlement first. I want you to go to the Dera system and learn more about the Riemann uprising. The Riemanns will have hidden their base, so you may have to use subterfuge to find it. I suspect that this affair is more than simple squabbling. The Tal Shia either have something to gain from persecuting the Riemanns, or they are under orders to do so. I want to know which it is. All right, we'll take it. All right, and Alright, bring it in. Commander, the Remans are jamming our sensors. And there's a way, and there is no way to determine where their base is located without assistance. We need a guide. Sensors are picking up a communication satellite nearby. We should be able to modify it to admit a signal that the Riemanns will think is from one of their ships. Then the Riemanns send then the Riemanns send someone to investigate the signal. We can get a sensor lock on their ship and follow them back to their base. Okay. Right in front of us. 
gonna cloak. I think that's the one they're talking about right there. Okay. That was interesting. Modifications are complete. Commander, when we trigger the transmission, the Remans should think it's from a vessel that is losing power and needs assistance. There's a there's a micronebula aft of our location. That should be a sufficient to conceal the Swiss energy signature while we wait for their, our Reman guide to arrive. Ah, they want us to hide in the cloud that disrupted us before. Well, we're going to kind of keep ourselves turned around. Although I wonder why we can't just cloak. Maybe that's why. Signal work, Captain. Riemann scout ships in range. It's moving to scanner. Detecting large energy buildups, sir. Romium and battleship decloaking. Captain, they're firing on the Riemann ship. The scout weapons are in sensor damage. They're cloaking. Attempt to reestablish sensor lock. Captain, the Riemann ship has cloaked but the engines are damaged and the sensors are detecting a tachyon leak. They can't stay hidden for long. We should be able to... We should attack the Tail Shiar ships, so when we destroy them, the Remans will be able to escape. They will, lead, they will lead us right to their base. All right, we get a fight. Sir, incoming hail from the lead Romulan vessel. They have detected us. I don't think those I don't think those Islanders Patuck will say anything we want to hear, but they are I insisting to speak with you, Captain. Putting it on the view screen now. Ah. You're a good distance out of your Empire's territory, aren't you? I know it's probably useless to expect someone like you to be civilized about this. But I wish to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Offer no aid or assistance to these Riemann rebels and leave this system immediately. If you do so, I can overlook your intrusion into an internal affair. Otherwise, I will be forced to see your presence here as an invasion of Romulan territory. That would be unfortunate. For Well, let's go ahead and scan this gas over here. Commander, the Riemann account. The Riemann scout ship has cloaked. 
They're trying to shake us. We need to stay close until we get a lock on their ship's warp signature. Follow the Riemann. There it is. We found you. May we be sneaking up on you? We don't want. We don't want to hurt you. Okay, Romulan forces are warping in. Okay. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Shields failing. Oh, and they're out of here. Ah, what did he say? What did he say? Okay, let's take out him. Remus ship has moved on. We should follow the Remus scout. The Riemann ship has executed a short warp boat jump. I have a lock on its coordinates, sir. We can engage warp as soon as you're ready. Not yet. I want to get this gas over here. Just for, just for laughs and giggles, if nothing else. I'm not picking up any ships here, Commander. But I wouldn't be surprised if there is if there are one or more cloak ships in the area. Reaming cloak ships can appear as concentrations of tetrium particles. I will continue to scan the area. There is something interesting on the on the planet's surface, however. Sensors are detecting a large underground in installation. If you could very well be the base that the Remian resistance is using. The entire area of the protect is protected by a magnetic shield though though so it would it can be it can't transport inside. There is a series of caverns connected to the installation. We could send a team there and try to find a way to disable or circumvent the magnetic magne magnetic shielding. So we're going to beam down. I did not realize everybody I've got is Ryan, except for the one hologram. We're going to go with it, though. Now, now you mentioned two of them holograms. Commander, this is incredible. The underground cavern are in the are in is natural in here is natural, but the base itself it's a ship. The Derek's class, if I if my track quarter readings are correct, the Raymonds moved a derelict vessel into the cavern. We appear to be in a maintenance area adjacent to the hull of the ship. The Remans probably mined those tunnels 
for raw materials. I'm picking up multiple veins of ore that could be useful if they are replacing ship parts or weapons. I'm not detecting any, I'm not reading any way into the ship from here, though we will need to find an entrance. Find a way to enter the ships. Okay, we're going to take a look around though. Sir, the caverns seem to be occupied by additional fauna. We should proceed with caution. What do we get? Romeo and Kafat. Yeah. Okay. See if there's any hidden goodies around here. It's been a very long time since I've Okay, they're still shooting at something. Okay. Here we are. This tunnel leads directly into the main area of the base, sir, but it's completely locked blocked. I wonder if a weapon on this high setting would breach it. Scan the grate to find a way into the base. This gate is made of... Excuse me. This game is made of tritanium alloy, Commander. There is no way a hand weapon will blast through it. We need something a lot more pow. That's it. Sir, did you see the mining laser? If it's operational, we might be able to modify it to do the job. I think the controls for the laser are on the uh, other side of the wall. Okay. Something must be wrong with the mining laser. We should perform a more detailed scan to determine the source of the problem. Okay. Yep, 
Commander, we have a mining laser power. Commander, the mining laser's power system isn't strong enough. We won't be able to cut through the titanium. I think there are several different ways we can fix it. Your training, career training will help. You only need to complete one of the career base objectives. Okay. Your applied tactics instructor always told you to use whatever it was available to get the job done. You think you could use several hand weapons power cells to boost the output of the mining laser. Klingon weapons aren't compatible, but the Remans might have left something suitable in the cave. Search the cave for an alternative power source. Okay. Okay. Looks like I missed out on something. I see something sparkling. Here we go. Collect power packs. Gotta collect two more. Uh, sparkly. Just one more. And they've led all the stops for a spider. All right, last but not least, one last power supply. You have all the power cells you need, but before you can use them th to boost the output of the mining laser, you will need to fuse them together and install a single control until that is strong enough. Until that is strong enough to handle the burst of power without burning out. Use the station. To Now, if y'all ever choose one of the other careers, they're all going to be a little different. The combined power packs are now ready to use. All you need now is to install the mi it in the mining laser and cross your fingers. Okay, that cross your fingers part is a little nerve-wracking, but we worry not. We will do it. That did it, sir. Power can to the mining laser is ready and it should be ready to fire. Okie doke, we're in. Success! 
The path inside the Riemann base is clear, Commander. The Riemanns will be the Riemanns will be alerted to our presence, so we will need to be careful. But I have a feeling that Obasek wants to see us. The Riemann seem to the Riemann seem to be expecting us. Perhaps we should just knock. Let's talk to this guy. Why are you here, outsider? Ask your questions, I will answer. Tell me about your life here. The nights are cold, and there's not enough food. It is a place like any other. For now we are safe from the Tashiar. But I fear that will soon change. My wife was working on a mining ship. This was not a military vessel. It had no weapons and limited shields. It was not in restricted space and it threatened no one. The tall Shi'ar captured it and questioned everyone on the crew for weeks. My wife died screaming in a Tal Shi'ar interrogation chamber. I fight for her. Okay. What do you want when this conflict ends? What do I want? I cannot answer that question. All I wanted, all I will ever want, died with my wife. Okay. All right. I'm gonna see if there's somebody else to talk to around here. Oh, we have a. Yes. Looks like the map has changed ever so slightly, which is kind of cool. You don't want it here, outsider. Why don't you want us here? Obasek says we must trust you. He says we need allies, and that you have gained the respect of the Klingon Empire. I am wary of the Klingon Empire, for they have always been our enemies. But I am willing to trust that you will look to the mutual interest of all our kind. Why do you think Obasek is wrong? I am old, and I have seen much. I fought with Shinzon, and he was obsessed with outsiders. He risked everything in a useless attack on the Federation. If he had thought more about our people and less about his hatred for humans, we would control the Empire today. Instead, we have nothing. This is what comes from dealing with outsiders. What do you want? I want peace and I want quiet. All of my friends and family are dead. I have no stake in this rebellion. I fight because that is all I know how to do. But this battle is my last. When it is over, I will find some place dark. And I will stay there for the rest of my days. That sounds like a nice plan. So basically, he just wants to retire. What do you want? What do you follow, Obelisk? 
Obasek, not Obelisk. Why do you follow Obasek? Obasek has a vision. He wants all Remans to be free from Romulan oppression. He wants us to have a world of our own, and not to have to beg for scraps from the Romulans' tables. Obasek will lead us to victory. I, for one, am happy to fight at his side. Are there people here who aren't happy with Obasek? Obasek's leadership? Many of the people here have lost family members to the Tal Shiar. It's hard to be happy about anything when all you're thinking about is what you don't have. What do you want out of this war? I want out. I will fight by Obasek's side until we are free. But then, I want to explore. I've had enough of despair. There are hundreds of ships that need a capable warrior. I will find one of them, leave this space, and never look back. Perhaps I will join the crew of a Starfleet vessel. And it says here, a Klingon vessel. Uh, this guy's... Why do you follow Obasek? Obasek has a vision. He wants all Remans. Oh, okay, we already talked to this guy. What should be the same guy? Okay, we already talked to this guy. I believe there's one more. Okay, we'll just go ahead and continue on with the game. This place won't be safe forever. We have to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Prepare the... Ah, it's you. Welcome to the heart of the resistance, little spy. Yeah, that's our new There is so much for us to discuss. And so little time. The Tal Shiar have discovered this, our last refuge. They will be here soon. And my people and I will have to fight for our lives. Yet one question remains. Will you be our friend? Or our enemy? I wasn't expecting My to fight. My hope you are here to talk, but I am prepared for the alternative. The Tal Shiar could arrive at any time. Speak quickly. Why are you doing this? Why fight the Tal Shiar? Why? You ask why? This place is one of the last sanctuaries left to my people, and even it is lost to us now. The Romulans have driven us from our homes, destroyed our ships, and captured or killed our loved ones. They seek to exterminate us, and we will not go quietly. Understand, I do not want this war. I want freedom for my people. It is the Romulans and the Dark Masters they serve who have caused this. Now they must suffer the consequences. Is there anything else you wish to ask? This, did Sila order these attacks? This campaign of terror is the Tal Shiar's doing, not the Empress's. Still... Sila does nothing to stop it. There is little love between the Empress and the Tal Shiar. Did you know that many years ago, she was exiled from Romulus for attempting to assassinate the head of their order? The Tal Shiar have their own masters, and Sila despises what she cannot control. Makes sense. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Why do you think the Tal Shiar are doing this? Hakiv and the Tal Shiar no longer serve the Empire. The demons of air and darkness are their masters now. They whisper in the night for chaos and despair, and Hakiv gives them blood as tribute. 
Our blood. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Tell me more about these demons. I have never seen one of these demons, and I will not speak their name, but I know they exist. Eons ago, they ruled this part of the galaxy. After thousands of years of tyranny and death, the races they ruled rose up against them, driving them from their home world into unexplored space. We thought they had been destroyed. We were wrong. The demons of air and darkness survive, and they hunger for revenge. I'm reminded of the Fikiri, but I don't think it's the Fikiri they're talking about. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Do you still have the Thaleron weapons? A small supply. They are terrible things. Weapons of war so horrible, they should have never been invented at all. But they were. And my enemies are great. If I must resort to barbarism to free my people, that is not too high of a price to pay. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What do you want from me? We need your help. Go to the High Council. Tell them what you have seen. Tell them if my people are to survive, we need assistance. Starships, soldiers, weapons, protection for the refugees. I'm asking for the Empire's aid. You are an honorable warrior. I too am a warrior. And I believe my fight is just. Will you join the battle at my side? Is there anything else you wish to ask? Okay, surrender, and I will see that you are treated fairly. I may not agree with your tactics, but I will not stop you. I think... I think... Yeah, I think Zoe would choose that anyways, and that's really the better option I'm anyways. I'm glad you see things my way. Get instructions from your commanders if you must, but the battle rages, and we must join it. With your help, my people will be free. I'm pleased you see that my cause is just. We can do great- Sir, Romulan transporter signal detected. The Tal Shiar have entered the base. All right. Start the evacuation. We must get the civilians out. Commander Roshna, transport the reinforcements here. Tell them to assist our new ally. I will return to my ship and attempt to hold off their forces. Help my soldiers defend this base. Fight well, my friend. My people are counting on you. All right, it's time for a fight. Commander, we lo we lost our transporters and we... Okay, let's just fight. Okay, we're gonna have to go the wrong long way around. All right, we're gonna bring out our little pets here. Okay.
All right. All right, the Raymond should be able to handle it from here, Commander. We should return to the ship and report to Tamek. Obelisk, trust us. I don't know if he's right about the out the, the outside influence on Havik's actions, but I'm sure that he believes that these demons are real. I respect him as a warrior, though, and I know he's acting to protect his people. I can't agree with his use of the Thaleron weapons, but if the homeworlds were threatened, would we act any different? If the High Council agrees to Obasek's resistance, it will be an honor to fight the Romulans at his fight the Romulans at his side. Let's beam out. The Remans beg for our assistance, but offer no fealty in return. Obesek whispers about demons of air and darkness, but offers no proof of their existence. Outrageous! The Remans have been slaves for too long to be warriors now. If they would ally with us to crush Sela and her ships, we could conquer the entire region in a matter of months. There is nothing for us to gain by joining his fight, and there is no honor in Obesek's tactics. I will consider the situation, but I must have a good reason to recommend this action to the High Council. As of now, that reason does not exist. All right, we get the usual experience, expertise in the lithium, and then some consoles, and our choice of a disruptor pistol or a beam rifle. So, and they're both the same. And Believe me, I think I'll just go for that. It's going to get sold either way. Congratulations, Commander. All right. Well, folks, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you all next time. All of you all have a good day and a good life. Goodbye.